Esther chapter 4 When Mordecai learned of all that had happened, he tore his clothes, put on sackcloth and ashes, and went out into the middle of the city. There, he cried out with a loud and bitter cry. He went as far as the king's gate because no one was allowed to enter the king's gate dressed in sackcloth. In every province where the king's command and decree reached, there was great mourning among the Jews. They fasted, wept, wailed, and many put on sackcloth and ashes. Esther's maids and chamberlains informed her of this. The queen was greatly distressed, and she sent clothes to Mordecai to remove his sackcloth, but he refused to accept them. Esther then called for Hatak, one of the king's chamberlains assigned to her and gave him a message for Mordecai to find out what was happening and why. Hatak went to Mordecai in the city square in front of the king's gate. Mordecai told him about all that had occurred, including the sum of money that Haman had promised to pay into the royal treasury for the destruction of the Jews. He also gave Hatak a copy of the written decree issued in Susa for their destruction, instructing him to show it to Esther, explain it to her, and charge her to go before the king to plead for her people. Hatak returned to Esther and relayed Mordecai's words. Esther sent a message back to Mordecai. Mordecai's response to Esther was as follows. Do not think that because you are in the king's palace, you alone of all the Jews will escape. For if you remain silent at this time, relief and deliverance for the Jews will arise from another place, but you and your father's family will perish. And who knows but that you have come to your royal position for such a time as this? Esther instructed Mordecai. Go, gather all the Jews who are in Susa and fast for me. Do not eat or drink for three days, night or day. I and my attendants will fast as you do. When this is done, I will go to the king, even though it is against the law. And if I perish, I perish. Mordecai then went and carried out all that Esther had commanded him to do.